Greetings, initiators of the Earth Crew of the Eternal Flame of Sovereignty. Happy full supermoon in Virgo. The Divine Feminine, fully activated, fully awake, fully aware. With these energy waves coming in, we are rising up through the dawning of the new golden age. Intense waves of energy flowing into the field today. I was transmitted horse medicine, the wild horse, the wild horse of the winds of the free spirit, transmitting to us now. This was a second day in a row of a lot of activity on the Schumann resonance charts. We had the 17 hertz energy coming in today, 17 on the Schumann charts. This is the energy of the quell, the cue, the source, also coming through the lifting of the veils, the matrix revealing its simulated reality. The construct of the matrix is being exposed. That which is hidden is becoming revealed. And with these revelations is the compression breakthrough energy, breaking through the veils, breaking through the timelines, the time loops, freeing humanity from the simulation of linear time into nonlinear into the unknown timelines of freedom, of total awareness, and total awakening. This is what is being called the Great Awakening, or the event, which is manifesting through the Starseed Nation, that is the ground crew of the Earth Alliance, and it's multidimensional. Each individual Starseed is an infinite multidimensional being of light, which lowered our frequencies into this realm to assist all humanity, all life, and all timelines through the zero-point energy, which we are all tapping into now, which is affecting the collective consciousness of humanity. This is a process what is being called the ascension process, as each of us ascend up through our personal ascension, our personal rainbow bridge that is connected to the great central sun through the central channel, of the physical vessel, that energy expands out through the universes, connecting to all things and all realms, all timelines, all dimensions. There is no limitation to this. This is an infinite energy, an infinite manifestation. As we spiral through the vortex of our own awareness, through the void, through the emptiness, and through the galactic activation portal, that is in the center of your being, the center of the universe, your universe here now, as we tap into our full potential through that still point, the still white magnetic light at the center of your being, of your presence, releasing all attachments, all conflicts, all duality, letting it all go as we free ourselves from our self-created duality and construct of consciousness. Aho. Today's first transmission, the dawn of planetary ascension, the Arcturians through Suzanne Lee. Dear Arcturians, do you have a message that I can share today? Yes, today and every day, we, your galactic family, has a message for each and every one of our brave grounded ones. These grounded ones took on an earth vessel during this now of planetary great challenge. We, your galactic family, wish to remind all of you, brave ones who chose to take an earth vessel during this now, we wish to remind you that you are not alone. We, the members of your galactic family, such as the Arcturians, the Pleiadians, the Antarians, the Venusians, as well as other galactic families, are assisting Dare Gaia in a manner that you could not see or understand via your third dimensional self. We say Gaia rather than Earth because all the galactic members call the planet on which you are currently living the planet Earth, Gaia. We, the joint members of your galactic family, are aware of the many challenges that are now occurring to yourselves as well as to your planet. Part of the reason for these challenges is that there are those in positions of power that are not evolved enough yet to realize that planet Earth is a living being with all the needs and protections that the humans need. There have been times in Gaia's history in which Gaia's Earth was honored and even worshipped by those who live on her planetary self. 
Unfortunately, there has also been eras in which there were wars of persons against persons that caused great damage to Gaia and all her elementals. Unfortunately, many humans do not even know what an elemental is. Therefore, we will remind you. We say, remind you, as we, your galactic family, remember the true multidimensional being that is you, your innate self. Please remember that via your innate multidimensional being, you are able to communicate and commune with all the myriad humans, animals, birds, fish, insects, as well as all the trees, mountains, valleys, and even the air and the atmosphere. What if more and more members of the human family began to remember that they, humans, are as much a component of Gaia's Earth as every component of Gaia's great planetary body, called Earth. Of course, we Arcturians, as well as all the galactics, call the planet known as Earth Gaia. Gaia is the higher dimensional name for what the third dimensionals call Earth. The lost ones wearing an Earth vessel have long ago forgotten that the planet on which they live is in fact a living being. When we, the Arcturians, say lost ones, we refer to the many brave ones who left their own fifth dimensional home worlds such as the Arcturians, the Pleiadians, the Antarians, and the Venusians, to assist their sister planet Gaia with the great challenge that she is now facing. It appears that too many humans on Gaia's Earth have forgotten that Gaia is a living being, just as all the other planets, as well as all the beings, plants, waterways, and atmosphere of Gaia's Earth body. Yet just as humans are the essence that is wearing their human form, Gaia is the essence that is wearing a planetary form. The primitive humans were well aware of the fact that all life was alive. However, as humans evolved, which in many ways they actually devolved, they lost contact with their own higher dimensional expressions of self. How can one lose contact with their own self? We hear you ask us. We, the Arcturians, have also been puzzled and greatly distraught about how our brave fifth dimensional ones lost their multidimensional essence once they took on a third dimensional form. On a third dimensional planet, we, your galactic family, have tried to understand how this loss of self became so common once one of our galactic family members lowered their essence and form into the third dimensional frequency of reality. Worse yet, because there are too many humans and too many leaders who have forgotten their own higher dimensional self, they cannot effectively confront and deal with the many harsh challenges that Gaia as well as all the living beings on her earth body are facing with this now on earth. We say earth here rather than Gaia as Gaia is the essence of earth. Just as humans have higher dimensional potentials within their aura, earth also has many higher dimensional potentials within her aura. Unfortunately, the lost humans, meaning the humans have lost their connection to their own higher dimensional self are unable to even realize and confront the great challenges that need to be confronted in order to assist their dare planetary mother Gaia to transmute her planetary body into the fifth dimension. However, please remember that the darkest night is just before the dawn. Therefore, Gaia, as well as many living beings that have chosen Gaia as their personal homeward, are ready to receive the dawn of planetary ascension into the fifth dimension and beyond. We, your galactic family, wish to remind all of you brave ones who have chosen to take an earth vessel during this now, that it is important that they remember that they and you are not alone. We, the members of your galactic family, such as the Arcturians, the Pleiadians, the Antarians, the Venusians, as well as any other galactic families, wish to remind you that you are also assisting dear Gaia. Dear human ones, please remember that you too have a fifth dimensional form in the higher frequencies of reality. Therefore, we thank you all for your great service to take an earth body on Gaia, and for the many ways that you have, and or soon will, protect your mother planet in the same manner that you would protect your human family. Soon humans will remember the many ways in which Earth is intact, their mother planet. We await that wonderful moment and can perceive it in Gaia's Earth family. Blessings from the Arcturians. From Suzanne Lee, Ph.D. blogspot.com And today from the Archangelic Calendar, Earth evokes peace as the galactic battle begins. Holy, the day of the sun and the moon. Today's date on the Archangelic calendar is infinity zero NAN three AA infinity dash infinity B two nine 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 
Infinity dash Infinity B one T T. Gaia is true spirit dominant today and is absolutely glowing in what is happening upon her land masters. Her relationship with Ra, our son, is becoming more and more beautiful every day as their chemistry is absolutely apparent. There is a pure letter in the sunrise calendar and as always the heart line of Ra and humanity is extra special when we get to this juncture. The report that Archangelic Michael has given us begins to come to manifestation on this mark. This is the day that the calendar week ends, for lack of a better way to put it. The more we put ourselves on the 5D time markers, the more firm we ground ourselves into our 5D reality. If we are to fully move on from 3D reality, then we must let go of the things that bind us to it, which is exactly what the Roman calendar is. In divine essence and timing, the holiday known as Holi, H-O-L-I, falls upon this day and is a festival that the Archangelic calendar has happily adopted for many reasons. Its origins start before the Roman calendar was forced upon humanity. It was founded in the right heart and mind and it celebrates some very real aspects of the Archangelic legions. There is an added bonus to this holiday as the many devotees of this holiday will light a sacred bonfire and it will be lit with great color. This will help us with our ongoing assignment of bringing forth the sacred flame markers higher to expand the 99999 gate. All that being said, these divinely orchestrated events are being framed by the immense energy of the new and improved Luna, our moon, who will be in great spirits because of her full worm moon, as well as other ongoing efforts to make it so. This is a very powerful time, and we will fully take advantage of this as our assignments shift to more of a building and healing nature upon the planet, which is not the same setting we are taking as far as Cersei, our galaxy. There is a huge upper dimensional galactic battle going on, which has ensued because we have chased the harmful intergalactic brood that was infesting the earth off the face of the planet. We were informed that no omnipotent forces are required, but we will continue to send our galactic team massive amounts of light as well as keep a close eye on the situation. The teams in the sky are extremely capable of handling this, but the amount of deception that has already been committed has well warranted our side of caution. In addition, the Archangelic Legion is chasing out the last remaining lower vibrational energies. They have no non-physical or galactic energy to call upon. Their exit is mandatory. Archangel Ariel, Archangel Asteroth, and Archangel Azrael are the leaders of that specific project. There is a giant heart expansion underway. This means that your heart chakra expands so large that your aura starts to look a lot like wings. This heart expansion allows more divine love to flow through you than ever before and it will be happening to you, the being that is listening to this, as you are exercising your spiritual muscles daily. And then the link below the description, in the description below the video is the full transcription of this and all the tools if you want to work on the assignments and the missions with the Archangelic Realm so you can follow that link. And these are all archived on our website, primedisclosure.com. So the assignments are valid any day as we are beyond space and time, and it still remains collaborative effort no matter when you administer them. Although to ensure accuracy, make sure you're using today's current weaponry, especially if you're seeing this 30 or more hours after it was originally posted, and please use your intuition. So the first assignment, the magnetic grids of Earth, could use a recalibration before we put on any more new structures on it. Alternative silver and gold lightning pulses around the globe, alternating back and forth nine times to adjust the electrical grid to a calmer setting. Much like the narrow pathways of our mind create pathways of repeated travel, so do the cosmos. If we envision the following lights to take a path through the 99999 gate, then through the galactic center, then through our central sun and then engulfing the earth, it will create long-lasting effects beyond measure. The key code colors, white, pink, light blue, gold, yellow, green, red, black, copper, bronze, brown, teal, rose, gold, silver, orange, indigo, violet, platinum, diamond, and rainbow. 
There is a knot in perspective time that is created by digital influences. As unpleasant as it may be to travel to the fourth dimension and unknot all the knots in time, this is causing many to become stuck in a feeling of being lost. And before it gets any worse, we must be proactive with the situation. Other ongoing assignments, Sacred Flame, Full Sky, and Moon Temple. You may say aloud, or in your mind's eye, facing the directions or not. The important thing is that you recite these words with a pure heart and mind. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit to the east. Everything is energy. I am energy. My life and circumstances are energy. I swim in a sea of divinity in which I am the master of the sea because I am the sea, the fish, and the landscapes. I am the missing piece of the cosmic mystery and I take control of my life each and every day. Vow with every essence of your being to stay faithful to the daily task of creating your positive feeling universe. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit to the south. I am surrounded by positive energy, which in turn turns into a positive life filled with wonderful people, places, and things. List what you are grateful for. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit to the west. It is apparent that I have consumed knowledge which has not fully been digested. I ask the universe for help in easing all leaps of consciousness via grace, comfort, and non-resistance. Reach your highest feeling thought and hold it until it radiates throughout your body. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit to the north as I share this blessing with all beings. Earth, I send light to you and all your beings. I bless your water, purify your air, and cleanse the souls of your children with the highest lights of the cosmos. Send Mother Earth and her children nine different colored lights by envisioning these lights penetrating her and her inhabitants. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit to all the unnamed directions. I am a being of great power, kindness, compassion, and strength. It is with a universal mind that I bless all of existence. Put your hand over your heart and say, I trust you. I believe in you. I trust my instincts. I trust my spirit. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit to all the unnamed directions. I am connected to the rhythms of the sun and moon. In their dance, I thrive. On this planet, in this body, all of nature, be it earth or cosmic, are my powerful allies on this journey. Envision the sun in your heart chakra and picture the earth and moon eclipsing it. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit to all the unnamed directions. My intentions are of a pure heart. With this truth, my words are felt by the highest aspects of the creative aspects of the universe. List the things you wish to create by listing your desires in the present tense while evoking great emotion. I face my mind, body, and divine spirit inside to find that infinite universe exists solely inside of myself. Meditate. We also have in the transcription a link to a daily meditation inspired by the Archangelic Legion known as the Intergalactic Legion. Meteaku Oyasin Aho from the Archangelic Calendar dot WordPress dot com. And today from Shane Shemashani Froyo did my best with that one. Full moon 3.9. 3 Saturn generates the hologram. 9 Moon, the silver screen. The moon reflects light from the sun, from the planets, and from every other star in our galaxy. However, the moon has no light source itself, nor does it need one. Look into your reflection in the water and ask yourself, are you real? As water is a lens, so too is the sky. The eye is another mirror, casting its own reflection from its own source. Contemplate this. Our real inner self is thrown into darkness by the very light of our ego-based thought. Light is, indeed, the veil that cannot be penetrated. Imagine when the sun is set high in the sky. Where are the stars? All that can be seen above is the beautiful blue sky and the clouds that roam its sea of tranquility. If you were to believe this setting to be the sphere of totality, you would be missing the cosmic aspect of yourself. Only by allowing the light to fade, the sun to set, would your totality be exposed to you. Now the mega lens can operate on the night of the dreamer. 
We can only use the telescope in the dark. Look, there are other stars, other planets. Look further and deeper. There are other galaxies, superclusters of galaxies. Behold, the depth of view is immeasurable. Now come to understand the navigational principle that allows for such a discovery. And remember, each thing we see hides something else we want to see. I am Isis of the seven veils of light. No man shall see my face to know my mystery. I am she that is the natural mother of all things, governess of all the elements and the initial progeny of the worlds. At my will, the planets of the sky, the wholesome winds, seas, and the lamentable silences of Hades are disposed of. I am all that has been and is and shall ever be, and my robe no mortal has yet uncovered. The real Maya or illusion is not in the natural forms, but in the mind's propensity to conceive or to project forms created from its own inventiveness. Awake from the waking state, the truth is found in the unknown. Today from Astro Mama, full moon in Virgo, will you choose hope or fear, awareness versus paranoia, embracing wholeness plus unconditional love. On March 9th, the moon, which rules our emotions, intuition, and gut instinct becomes full at 20 degrees of Virgo. Full moons are always highly emotional and signify completions, endings, and manifestations. Virgo, the sixth zodiac sign, is all about work, health, service, order, and critical thinking. The full moon in Virgo will bring about a peak awareness to our health and well-being. With all the emphasis lately on the coronavirus, there is a heightened sense of panic and pandemonium in the air. This full moon is not about exacerbating this sense of fear, but rather encouraging us to get in touch with the root cause of such disorder. Viruses and the like have been around since the beginning of our human existence. We are being encouraged at this time to dig deep into the practicalities of our everyday lives and how we truly care and protect our health. This goes deeper than washing your hands and covering your mouth when coughing. Virgo is ruled by Mercury, the planet of the mind and communication. How do we talk ourselves to ourselves about the way we treat our mind, soul, and body? Do we listen to the call of concern or do we stand in faith in the lesson it is trying to provide? The Virgo full moon will be a gut check in how we process information and whether we choose to stand in fear or love. When the world freaks out, do we follow the pack or do we stand in a possibility beyond our current reality? La Luna, full within the sign of the Virgin, will ask us to come back home to our sense of wholeness and belief in the miracles of the human mind and body. It will ask you not to play the victim, but to embrace creative solutions that promote balance and integrity. Finding this peace won't be easy as everywhere you turn, fear is being promoted out of control. It is up to each individual to claim their sovereignty. The only way to combat fear is to choose love. This full moon will give us this choice very clearly. Being awake requires being bold and courageous beyond our normal comprehension of reason. The main aspect of the Virgo full moon will be in opposition from Neptune, currently in her home sign of Pisces. Neptune is a planet of illusion, healing, spirituality, hidden forces, and transcendence. Neptune and Pisces, opposing the full moon and Virgo, will either add fuel to the fire of fear or arouse faith and healing that we so need and crave. This aspect promotes a heightened sense of intuitive guidance, but can also produce even more paranoia and illusion. Again, this is a choice. The Virgo-Pisces axis always deals with some form of sacrifice and overgiving. It is almost as though one produces or enhances the trait of the other. Neptune and Pisces, in opposition to the full moon and Virgo, will create a distinction of either standing for a cure or reprieve based on faith and hope, or create more hoopla around living in a state of constant fear and discord. It will be imperative that we find the balance at this time. It isn't smart to completely ignore or heed warnings. It also isn't smart to live in a state of constant analysis of what could happen, that we forget to enjoy the present moment of our healthy lives. Big wake-up calls could happen with these two aspects to one another. Where is the balance, and how do we embrace awareness while also detaching and coming to a place of peace? The Virgo full moon is here to bring about an awareness of how we listen and perceive information. 
The information could be external, such as from the outside media, or internal in how we integrate our own thoughts and beliefs. This deep analysis is what Virgo is known for and what the sign does well. La Luna will also ask us how we heal our own disconnection to the mind and the body. Do we truly listen to what our body wants and desires or do we follow the crowd on the right way to care for ourselves? There is a lot of back and forth, push and pull energy at the moment. The Virgo full moon wants you to drop back down to the basics and ground yourself. La Luna, full in the sign of Virgo, is asking not for more analysis of what ifs, but a complete faith and trust in what cannot be seen or felt. This may be called blind faith. The Virgo full moon is here to bring a surrender to the crazy information overload, trust in yourself, and the mind-body connection and the belief and faith that with love even the greatest fears can be overcome. We will be under the effects of the full moon for the next two weeks until the new moon in Aries on March 24th, 2020. From Astro Mama, and after many years of practicing myself, many different forms of spirituality from Zen Buddhism to shamanic practices to Taoist practice, Hindu spiritual arts, yoga, many different forms of healing modalities, this is a process of consistent learning, practicing, integrating, and experimentation we call refinements. There is no plateau to to peace, prosperity, bliss, joy, and health and healing. So this is a journey that we are all on and we all learn from these things. So the object of where we are here now and experiencing in the collective with this chaotic energy, with this energy of fear and uh, propaganda, is to ground within ourselves and to live and practice to our highest potential our highest love, our highest truth, and to know that the power within is infinite. The creative potential, the healing potential is infinite. There's no plateau. And this is a practice, especially many years of studying Chinese medicine, Chinese philosophy. This is a, we're in a state of balance. We're balancing the elements. We're balancing energies. Everything is energy. And we use all the tools at our disposal to help enhance this physical vessel, this sacred temple. Part of it is from uh, by prevention. Part of it is through eliminating certain things, minimizing certain things, and enhancing and adding other things. We balance the fire and the water, and we work with the five elements, the wood, the fire, the earth, the metal, and the water. And we bring all these things into balance, and we assist the sacred temple to live its highest potential in total health, total abundance, total awareness, and total synchronicity. Aho. The key through any great shifts is to disconnect from the fear, the propaganda, and the control programming. Those that project the construct and the propaganda do their best to keep consciousness and awareness in the lower frequencies in this disconnected state. So the best we can do, live from our heart, seek ye the kingdom of heaven within, find the love within yourself, connect to all beings and all realms, and keep a positive mindset. Which do you think serves humanity and life? The belief that the universe is malevolent and takes, or is benevolent and giving? The choice is ours to make. You cannot become one with source, with the universe, unless you have great faith in that source, in that universe. Not that there is separation. Separation is part of the programming of the matrix, of Maya, of the illusion. But it's our belief in the separation, or what we might say, our doubt. Our doubt that we are one with source. And it's through this forgetfulness and falling into ignorance that we become victims to that mindset of separation and limitation. But as we ascend and wake up, rise up, we realize that we never were or never are separate from our highest self, from the great spirit, from the universe, from source. And if it helps, you can use the mantra or prayer that I pray to be one with God, one with source, one with the great mystery, whatever name resonates with you, And it's through that mantra, through the prayer of being one, 
that may assist any that are in doubt. And this is what you can transmit to those in your life, those in your family, those that surround you, is that the greatest prayer is to realize or make real our oneness with the Great Spirit, what we call the Great Mystery, Namaste. And today from Zolkin Times, Kin 240, Yellow Rhythmic Sun. The number six is called Rhythmic, and its key words are Organize, Equality, and Balance. These days are always really handy. They are great for getting yourself organized. Ask yourself what needs sorted out in your life, and then get on with it. Rhythmic days are about finding balance, being practical, and striving for equality. Today is yellow sun, which represents enlightenment, life, and universal fire. This makes for a lovely combination of day and number, organize, enlightenment. Expect to have moments today where ideas just pop into your head. This is great for problem solving, and if you are consciously journeying through this Blue Eagle wave spell, today will provide an opportunity to fly very close to the sun. Be creative with what you see. Today's guide is the yellow sun, and so a very bright day, which is great for illuminating our paths. And from Christina Papa Giorgio, posted at 7.17 a.m., so we have the 71 and the 17, the mirror, the mirror of source that reflects source through eternity. The Yellow Rhythmic Sun, Kin 240, 9 March 2020, Organizing for Enlightenment. 932020 equals 12, 22, equals 3, 4, equals 7, 9 Destiny Service, Compassion Endings, 3 Holy Trinity, Joy, Creativity, 7 Magic, Spiritual, Mystic, 4 Foundation, Form, Earth, Angelic. Kin 240 equals 6, Heaven, Christ, Harmony, Romance. More Divine, Heavenly, and Christ coding today. Double whammy, a real eye-opener. Day 6 in the Blue Eagle Wave Spell, where we are being asked to fly high and focus on the big picture so that we can create it. Day 6 of the Blue Eagle Wave Spell, accompanied by a double yellow sun. A hugely insightful day for our God, Buddha, consciousness, vantage point. Today we are organizing to balance our life so that we can attain that divine zero-point neutrality where all is equal and all is one. A very powerful and insightful day for aha moments. Epiphanies and breakthroughs are highly possible. Tone of creation, rhythmic tone six in the physical realm. Action, organize, power, balance, essence, equality. The sixth day of the Blue Eagle Wave Spell is the one that brings balance. The rhythmic phase is where this all-adventuring, radiating miracle learns to walk, but consciously, precisely, with fine organizational instincts and what superb balance we see. We learn to independently find our own balance through our own connection to Source. When you do what you love and let your spirit soar like the eagle, you shine brightly like the sun. Shine the spotlight on the people, circumstances, and environments that give you clarity and assist you in attaining a balanced life. Fly high and shine bright, angelic winged ones. Reflecting your inner glory, celebrate the radiant being that you are as the center of your own universe. Today's question is how can I balance any inequalities in my life world so that I, we, can become more enlightened? In La Kek Alakin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 240, Yellow Rhythmic Sun, the mantra, the code for today is, I activate in order to enlighten, balancing life. I seal the matrix of universal fire, with the rhythmic tone of equality, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And really feel into these mantras, these daily mantras from the Mayan calendar, the Mayan philosophies, the Mayan spirituality. And these ancient philosophies and symbolism is from the ancient Mayan and the Toltecs. The Toltecs were the dreamers. The artists, the creative, the Mayan and the Toltec believe that time is art, time is creativity. We each, within each individual consciousness, each individual soul or essence, 
is a genius. The genie is within the bottle. The bottle is your sacred vessel. It is your mind and it is your awareness. And we each have that genius within that is on many people waiting to be behold, beheld, to be known, to brought, be brought into the light, to be enlightened, to tap into that infinite creative potential. The most glorious genius is always waiting within to be revealed, to be released. It is the freeing of the spirit, the freeing of the mind from all prisons, all constructs. Anything that holds back the spirit, holds back the creative genius from expressing through the expression of the voice, of the body, of the mind, using sound, using frequency, light, touch, visualization. All these things are tools for the artist. And every human being is an amazing artist. Just many are sitting in a dormant state until taught to tap into that infinite creative potential. And that is part of the new earth, is where all beings can fully live with a free spirit, a free mind, a free heart to express on our deepest level and our deepest essence out into this field of infinite energy. Heavenly chi merging with earthly chi on earth as it is in heaven. The external mirrors the internal and in turn externally mirroring the internal. It is the mirroring of the mirage with that which is real. That which is real never changes. It is the eternal now, the eternal light that manifests the changing, illusory, temporary world that is constantly in a state of eternal flux and transformation. So you tap into that energy here now, tap into your infinite spirit, your free spirit, your wild spirit, the spirit of innocence and purity and truth, and transmit that out to the best of our ability through this amazing sacred temple, sacred vessel. So dear ones, let us know in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're seeing, what you're experiencing, what you're manifesting, your visions, your dreams, your knowledge, your truth through this medium, through this channel. All starseeds have a platform and an opportunity to connect with each other, connect with the collective, and transmit your pure energy through the sacred space, the sacred medium. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below the video and the little bell to get notifications on future uploads and updates. And as always, the link to this transcription is below in the description of the video to our website primedisclosure.com and we have every transmission archived on our site, over a thousand now, and they're all free for your viewing pleasure. So have a beautiful and blessed day, beloved beings of light. I love you all. Namaste.